In this lesson, we are going to model a compression spring In order to model compression spring, four dimensions are important. Wire diameter, mean coil diameter, free length, and number of coils. First of all, plane spring is described, then we go for ground and close spring. We select front plane and sketch a circle. Diameter of the circle should be equal to the mean coiling diameter, which is 20 millimeter. Then we go to insert tab and curve helix and s we define the helix by height and revolution the value of height is 30 and the value of revolution is 4 we decide counterclockwise because our spring is right hand then we click ok After that, we should draw the wire in the perfect. In order to do that, we select top plane and a sketch a circle. The diameter of the circle is equal to wire diameter, which is 1.25. And the location of the diameter is equal to, to the mean diameter. We should add horizontal geometrical constraint to fix the drawing. Then we sweep The circular and the spring are made. Now here is the question. How can we model a spring which are closed and planed? In order to model the closed spring, we should flatten the first and the last uh, coil. So we should use three sweep in this condition. And in order to apply a ground, we should cut the spring.
Now we have a spring which is closed and ground. We can simply change the number of revolution by changing the helix which make the main body of the spring. For example, if we change the revolution from 2 to 4, we will have six revolution of spring here. In the next step, we are going to use equation to create a different type of the spring without changing the dimension which are in the tree. So I push the E button, which is the shortcut key for equation. You can check my previous uh, video about defining shortcut key for most useful commands. We have to define four dimension as I said before. First of all, D as wire diameter, which was 1.25 wire diameter. Second one is the mean. diameter coiling which was 20 millimeter mean coiling diameter the third one is air as the length of the spring or height of the spring and the final one is number of coils, which is six. Now I assign global variables that I define for the spring for dimension in sketches. I can easily change my spring 
with my variable for example if I want to change the length to 40 it will applied easily or the wire diameter become 3 it will get easily or the mean coiling diameter become twice or number of coils increase to twice you can see I can apply whatever I like easily without going and changing the tree. Thank you for watching this video.